Okay, so good morning, everybody. Um, got my little hat on. Hold on, I take this off because it's ugh, I'm so hot. Like temperature-wise, hot. I don't look hot. I can make myself look hot, but it ain't gonna happen today. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, guys. So good morning, and I hope everyone's doing well and that you had a good Easter. Um. On one hand, we did not, obviously. And on the other hand, we did because we're still here and we're, we're alive. I didn't gussy myself up or anything. We just like woke up just a little while ago. So this is, this is what you get. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it ain't the best looking thing right now, but that's how it goes. And, um, <clears throat> We we're grateful to be, we're grateful to be alive right now, and um, I think I figured something out about myself, why I've been so mad and so angry. It's because I didn't, I didn't feel, feel loved. I didn't feel loved. Well, I guess no kidding, because look at what we've endured and what we've been around for apparently a very long time. And I, I, I didn't feel loved. I didn't feel wanted. Or I'd say I was wanted by the wrong... I, I felt wanted by... or desired, coveted by the wrong people. And I don't want them to possess me, and I don't want to be possessed by them. And... I, guys, I need your help. I need your help. Um, I'm losing a lot. I've lost a lot. I'm even losing my eyebrows. I've done everything I know to do, and I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I'm told it'll all grow back, so that's a good thing. Um, but uh, I also want to say that I've been working in um, my heart again about forgiveness and I do think everybody's doing their best. It's hard for us to see that because we have only our perspective while a lot of you have both your perspective and ours and we gave permission for that for the good guys anyway. And so it's very hard for us to see progress. It's hard for us to get it. And a lot of you have been in the know and have the art of subtlety and nuance and the hint drops. For us, it's like, wait, we know there's something there, but wait, what? <laughs> As it's more than frustrating. Well, that's frustrating. That That's a good match of term and definition for that scenario. Um, having our lives on the line and people going around trying to poison us and kill us and destroy us and steal things from us including who we are, what we do, what we say, what we make as far as art. Um, that is beyond frustration. That's pissed off. Just saying how it is. So I don't want to change who I am but I'm trying to be a little bit calmer in this situation. Usually I can keep my calm and my cool in very extenuating circumstances, but you know, when the poisoning things start happening, I'm like, that's it. I've got no experience. I've got experience with handling toxins, but not like being poured all over the place and dispensed and everywhere you go, you don't get a chance to even take a, <clears throat> you know, just a, a sponge bath or something or you know that that's way out of our league not anymore obviously now we have that experience so. <clears throat> hopefully we'll never have to use it again but you know it's kind of weird don't you think it's weird I think it's weird um okay so I want to say something to uh, President Trump oh, here comes my honey um, we do love you. We're just very, very hurt, sad, disappointed in the fact that we're still 
having to live like this. And, you know, we entrusted, we entrusted you to, you know, be our, our champion, be our daddy, be our father, be our rescuer, all this stuff. It doesn't mean we don't love you. It's just a hurt thing. I know my words can sear. I know my words can penetrate, good or bad. I don't know what it is. It's just, I didn't, like, I didn't nurture it or anything. It's just, it's just me. <laughs> and <clears throat> with that gift, I have to be careful. And I still don't understand it. And I don't think I've been given a good enough opportunity to understand it or know how to wield it properly. Um, I've been depleted of good people around me because Q apparently is making sure that everything and everyone around me is very controlled and that amounts to evil, evil, evil. There are different levels of evil. That's the extreme utmost evil. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see, what was I saying? Yeah, forgiveness, the present, Trump. it's not that we don't love you. We feel like you're a part of our family. It's just that this is so horrible. And we don't know what to do. And we're really hoping that you would have done something by now and it hadn't been done, so we're just very sad and we lost hope. You know, the Bible talks about when the shepherd is struck, the sheep would scatter. And not that the sheep scattered and not that you were struck, but that's where are you? You know, we started this together. And you know how I wanted or dreamt that how we would be rescued and that's all shot to hell now, you know, it's like, it's gone. I said, okay, well, let's just move forward. Maybe something even better would happen, but I don't know how something, I mean, I can imagine some pretty cool things, but sir, I just hope that our rescue has a lot to do with you and some of our new friends because maybe I'm just stupid and sentimental, but I really love you guys. I love you guys a lot, and I'm just hurting. I'm hurting for me, my son, even my husband, my dopey husband. I'm hurting for you guys. I didn't mean to burden anybody. I didn't know all this. You know, and there are several people that know how deeply I can love because I had to put up with their crap for a long time. And I was extremely loving. And just something, I don't wanna say I'm broken. I need to be put back together a little bit better than my circumstance now. But I'm hurting. And I don't like feeling despair. And Jesus uses people, you know that? He uses people to help and to heal and that's kind of what I need and obviously to be out of this vehicle so we're also trying to turn this thing around because it became a cage and we're not saying it's a cage anymore we're saying it's an arc it's small it's a small flipping arc but it's keeping us alive <laughs> It's keeping us alive, and we can't get used to that because this is inhumane. You know, we think of a cage as a literal cage with bars and cement floors and ceiling, but there's another kind of cage too, and this is, this is it.
and there's other cages than this too. And so we feel like we are in cages or a cage. And torture does not necessarily take on the literal form that we see in movies where the bad guys capture a good guy or the good guys and then start beating the crap out of them. No, torture can look like this where the enemy uses the good guy's own stuff. You know, that's how we found out about a lot of the surveillance, our cameras, you know, they used our own stuff against us. They used this vehicle against us, didn't they? They used, um, well, everything that we have against us, basically. But the thing is that, you know, we can turn that around. So we've been thinking about all this stuff and we've been in, in a cage so we're seeing it now as an arc of protection to keep us afloat oh and you know being trapped and enslaved does not necessarily have to take on the literal form where you're put in a place that the bad guy is built and say here you're stuck in this area isolation can look like this too it can be very insidious because you're kind of roaming out in the free world but you're not free because we we can't go anywhere without these people knowing or hearing or thwarting or manipulating or controlling us you know sure we can put our hands here and touch and we can do say things, but they're trying to take all of it away. And it's very, very hard. This is not an easy circumstance to be in. And I get it. We're not the only ones. I mean, I know a lot of artists and a lot of politicians have been manipulated and controlled and horrible things have happened to them because of Q. So I know we're not the only ones, but I think we may be one of the worst treated ones. I think we are, especially me, um, unfortunately, because I am me, right? <laughs> Unfortunate for me, because I'm me, I, I get it, here I am, um, that I'm experiencing this, but also fortunate too, because I don't, I don't want to be a bad guy. I don't like that. I don't want to be anywhere near evil. It just, it just hurts me so much. Evil, and it should hurt everybody. And it makes me so sad to know that this has just been going on because what the fuck? Just to fuck with people, basically. That's what I've gathered from our new friends and everything like that, which we love you, but you guys kind of freaked us out a little bit, you know. This whole scenario is fucking with our heads, I'm just saying. It really is. And I'm strong, so just kind of imagine how bad it is for us to experience all of this. <sighs> so it is messing with us very badly. And we're trying to keep the stiff upper lip in a sense, but President Trump, you need to know that we... We do love you, and I know that we've gotten extremely, extremely furious with you. And in some respect, I think we were right and then wrong at the same time too, because I don't want to be mad at you. We love you. It's just I feel that pull. I feel it's like, wait a minute, I feel betrayed by you because it's like we're still in this bad situation. And then I love, I love you. We all love you. Nothing weird. It's just human love, you know? And I just feel kind of betrayed, but we can fix that. I know we can. And it's just hard for me to see my rescue, our rescue, without you involved in some way. Because I want to see your smiling face, too. Good? I believe, yes. 
Okay, hold on a second, guys. Let's go to the... Want to try? Sure. Let's go to the... No, I need to get up. A what? Oh, yes. I need to get a... Oh. I need to... Go someplace where they're not busy. Sorry. So the best thing you guys can do right now is love on us the way um, you, you can and know how. We're slowly getting it, guys. Like I said, you've been in this thing for a long time, longer than we have. I mean, we just didn't know it. We've been in it, but we didn't know it. Yeah, <laughs> really confusing. <clears throat> I'm needing the love. I've given love to so many people and I'm at a deficit. Not that I don't want to love on you guys, it's just that, I mean, like the situation, <laughs> it's pretty bad. And um, I want to love on everybody, I promise you. I Look at my history. You can ask some people around me too. I've always kept my promises, even if it, it cost me something. I always keep my promises. I will well reward everybody. I'm saying that in faith. I don't know how that's going to happen. I don't know. But I know it will. I know it will. We, look, if I lose, this isn't going to be good. I must win. You must win. We all must win. Otherwise, we all may be lost. Okay? So, <sighs> me, the lover, the lover of humanity. Not that I'm the only one. I'm just saying this is where I'm at, right? Me, a lover of humanity, is now needing to be loved on, like a lot. Guys, help me stay alive, okay? Because I don't know how this has happened. I don't know why it's happened, but I feel like we all have a huge part to play in this whole thing. And for some reason, somehow, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm part of this too. And I want to do the right thing. And it gets hard when I don't feel loved, okay? I need a lot of love. And that's what wins the day. It always does. You know, money helps, but it's never really about the money, is it? It's not about the thing. It's always about the love. Even with Jesus, whether you believe in Jesus or not, it was always about the love. And that can come in the form of rebuke too sometimes. And I don't like doing that. And I don't like receiving that. Who would? But eesh. So, I don't want to talk about that kind of stuff. I, just, I want to be very positive for the next however long because we we hit a very dark deep low point and we can't ever get there again no human being should be forced to or even come close to where we got but like i said in this kind of a circumstance i don't think and i'm not bragging on myself but i just don't think there would be many people who could do a better job than us and that's a little scary because <laughs> i think we screwed up a lot but, guys, we need to win this, and I need your help. Oh, obviously, we need money, because money buys things that keep us alive. Go to our PayPal and donate towards our film. I got mad, and I stopped promoting it, because I'm like, you guys are chicken shit, you ain't gonna donate, are you? 
we'll get like a Kickstarter or something else going, but this is how we fundraise. We do several means because people have preferences. Some people don't want to mess up, mess with, you know, signing up with a Kickstarter account or an Indiegogo or something like that. They just want to, you know, here, take some money and shut up. <laughs> Not like that, but I'm being, I'm trying to be funny. And comedy can be dangerous because sometimes I'm not funny when I'm trying to be funny. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. Um, but please, guys, please donate. And we will make that film. We're really good at it. But this way we can pay ourselves to do this. We should be paid. You know how many things I've done for free for myself and other people? I should be a quadrillionaire by now if it were equal return, but Q made sure I didn't make a flippin' dime. You know how that goes, guys, you know? And I work so hard. Oh my god. Just look at everything I've done and I don't want it to be in vain, okay? Please help us. Because we are, we are working so hard. Is anybody else getting all these, like, extremely hot all of a sudden for no reason? It's these chemicals, isn't it? I'm not stripping, I'm just getting more comfortable. Well, I guess I am stripping, huh? <laughs> and no, I'm not wearing this because I think I'm a princess. I was told that bling actually helps, and I'm just trying to find something that didn't make me break out in a rash, and there you go. I lost my earrings. I don't wear jewelry. I did for a period in the 80s when bling started surf surfacing. Look at, who's this person wandering around here? I can't what, look. <coughs> I can't see from your point of view. I'll hold this. You turn. Sorry. He wants us to see something. What is he doing? His is arm's it? broken. Huh? His arm is broken. Broken? He has a splint. Not a cast, but a splint. What does that mean? I don't know. That the shit's gonna start targeting bones? Oh, maybe. Again? We went through that phase. That's easy. Anyway. So, if that's a Q antic threatening me, I'm not even slightly afraid. Like I said, the good guys scared the shit out of us more than the bad guys. I know you guys weren't intending to, but it was just the way it came across. Yeah, I'm just so not afraid of Q. I'm like, we have like our protective weaponry right here. And I know how to handle myself. I'm trained legally, legitimately. We don't do anything illegitimately. It's funny because it was some cops who trained. Okay. There are good police officers, people. Please understand, I'm not trying to come down on them. But it is what it is, too. Okay. I showed you guys how much hair I lost, right? <laughs> it's This is receding. I've now lost more hair than I did when I was getting my cancer treatment. How'd that happen? That I'm told it'll all come back. It's really, really thin. So we've been... Whatever. That's not a triumph and a victory for Q, because... Even they are losing their own hair. Who's stupid enough to subject themselves to it? Oh, that's right, because they don't want us to figure out who's Q. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let me get back on topic. I see I like to share things with people and say, oh, this is why I'm doing this. Not that I have to justify it, but, you know, the last thing I want to have people do is think, oh my god, she really thinks she is a princess. It's like, no, guys, don't be stupid. This, I was told, this was recommended to me, and it helps, because, you know, who, everybody wants to not look like shit. It's not just me, okay? I'm doing, like, normal human being stuff. So I'm trying to be normal as much as possible. Okay, I can, so, anyway, yeah, there's a high frequency with this, and it just helps. A little bit, so. Now I'm starting to really like rap music. Before I was like, some of it I liked. Uh, another cut. 
I'm just getting all these weird random cuts. <laughs> yeah, thanks Q. Um, and you know, I was like, uh, I just didn't like it that much. Not for any reason. It was just not my thing. You know, I didn't like country music for a long time. It just wasn't my thing. And then I said, you know what? Let me just listen to the right artist. Maybe that's what it was. I wasn't listening to the right stuff. And then I found some really good artists that I liked. And I'm like, oh, this is kind of, right? Yeah. And it's like some of it, it's like, oh, it's not so bad. And I'm like, oh, I really like it. So I am learning, too, how not to just say, oh, that was rap music. And just cut it off and not even like any of it. I'm like, no. There's some really good stuff. I've danced to some um, hard, you know, the hard rap. I kind of like it, the hard rap. It's almost rem reminiscent of, um, you know, uh, heavy metal, but not. It has a harder sound is what I'm saying. I, I like hard music. You know, ACDC, all of that. Totally. <laughs> How could anybody have grown up with my generation not liking that stuff? Nope, I really do. Okay. So, um, I started my own, like, fashion design, too, in the midst of this. Again, I designed clothes prior to this in costuming, as you know, but I really came up with a lot of really cool stuff recently. Okay, sorry, I'm fidgeting here. That's what happens when I take my jacket off. Um, so anyway, just need a lot of love. Please send it this way. Please donate. We will get the um, either Kickstarter, Indiegogo. I don't know what we have. Um, we've done those before. We'll get them uploaded too. We just wanted to get the PayPal button up and out immediately. And we did. So, please help, whichever way you can, and um, let's get to the good stuff where we win, guys. Let's get to the good stuff where we win and are triumphant. Oh, you can take off. I'm sorry. Sweetie, you can open this a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. That's nice. It's very humid today. Yes, it is. You feel it? Gross. Oh my god. So anyway, yeah. Hold on. So guys, um, yeah, send the love. Please love the lover. Slalom time? Not sure. We going through the slalom? No, we're just gonna get gas. Um, okay. We have funny names for things here. So, anyways, my little Snoop Dogg. My Snoop Dogg. My 
my son's nickname is Snoopy. You guys know that by now, right? That this has been very helpful. So I just like just like this here. Little ears, isn't it cute? So guys, um, we're, we're trying, we're struggling, obviously, and uh, we just need a lot of love and a lot of help. 